The Church, Mystery of Man's Union with God, 772. It is in the Church that Christ fulfills and reveals his own mystery as the purpose of God's plan to unite all things in him. St. Paul calls the nuptial union of Christ and the Church a great mystery. Because she is united to Christ as to her bridegroom, she becomes a mystery in her turn. Contemplating this mystery in her, Paul exclaims, Christ in you, the hope of glory. 773. In the Church, this communion of men with God and the love that never ends is the purpose which governs everything in her that is a sacramental means tied to this passing world. The Church's structure is totally ordered to the holiness of Christ's members, and holiness is measured according to the great mystery in which the bride responds with the gift of love to the gift of the bridegroom. Mary goes before us all in the holiness that is the Church's mystery as the bride without spot or wrinkle. This is why the Marian dimension of the Church precedes the Petrine. The Universal Sacrament of Salvation, 774. The Greek word mysterion was translated into Latin by two terms, mysterium and sacramentum. In later usage, the term sacramentum emphasizes the visible sign of the hidden reality of salvation, which was indicated by the term mysterium. In this sense, Christ himself is the mystery of salvation, for there is no other mystery of God except Christ. The saving work of his holy and sanctifying humanity is the sacrament of salvation, which is revealed and active in the Church's sacraments, which the Eastern Churches also call the Holy Mysteries. The seven sacraments are the signs and instruments by which the Holy Spirit spreads the grace of Christ, the head, throughout the Church, which is his body. The Church then both contains and communicates the invisible grace she signifies. It is in this analogical sense that the Church is called a sacrament. 775. The Church in Christ is like a sacrament, a sign and instrument, that is, of communion with God and of unity among all men. The Church's purpose first purpose is to be the sacrament of the inner union of men with God.